Hello, people. Uh, I've just been thinking about time for a little while now, and I don't really have an issue accepting that all time happens at all times, but I'm still experiencing time moving forward, and just because all time happens at all time does not mean I don't experience it and well when you're supposed to open spiritually and all of those things it's usually about accepting that time does not exist but it does it we humans might have created time, but we still go around the sun, and that's, well, everything can happen at once, but I still remember things one day at a time, and if I'm not supposed to think about time and the future, and it's all just right now, then what's the point of planning in any way whatsoever? Because, well, right now, for instance, I'm selling my apartment and I'm moving out in two months. And I'm not moving out until two months. But if time doesn't exist, then shouldn't I just decide I don't live here anymore and live somewhere else? Because it's irrelevant. Those two months, if time doesn't exist, why am I forced to experience those two months of, well, waiting? It's, again, if time doesn't exist, then why? And how can you structure your life without time? It's, well, you can take away time, you can take away hours and minutes and everything like that, but time still exists. Like, sun goes up and down this light and dark there's time is progressing like whether you, it doesn't really matter what way you want to categorize the time you can say there is a million seconds in uh, every minute and it doesn't really change time at all because time is movement time is change and if you don't there has to be a reason we experience things in a more linear fashion than just we are here one well we aren't really experiencing life as a movie because we have all the we have all the bullshit like traveling shit like you don't ever watch some people take the bus to school every day in a movie. You might see it once and then never again, but we have to travel. We have to change. Time is linear for us. And I'm struggling with the concept of it not mattering because it does it's I there's no problem accepting that time is all time exists at all time but it doesn't mean I experience all time at all time I only experience this moment and it jumps forward to this moment and this moment and this moment and this moment 
always forward. I never jump except when I sleep, but I can't just you can say it as much as you want. You can say time does not exist, but it does. The arguments aren't just not that good because things move. It's just because the 24 hour time is not a thing does not mean that the universe does not move because it does. And that's what time is. Time is movement. Time is moving is what it takes to move from this place to this place. That's a unit of time that's say a light year. It's a light year is not about the time. A light year is about the distance you have moved. And I'm trying to accept giving up time, but how? And I'm trapped in time because that's how the universe works. I don't just skip things. I have to experience everything in a linear fashion. Now, it might be, a, maybe it's just early for me, but it doesn't make sense. Because I can accept all the theoretical knowledge about time and space and energies, but it doesn't make my experience of time any less. And people say you should just focus on the now, then well, how the fuck do you sell your house and move places and buy things because don't just, well, if you can just make things materialize, sure, good for you. But I have, st I have to wait for the universe to do shit. I have to wait for other things to interact with my life. It's, I can't just demand that the universe skip that time. I can try to make it move faster in different ways. Try to just sleep for two months, for instance, but I still have to wait for others. Um, you could say that humanity just created time as a construct, but two months are still, well, it's 30 days and nights, no, 60 days and nights, and that's time. It doesn't matter if you count as hours or seconds or anything. That's time we have moved. And I'm just, I'm just trying to get them because it doesn't make sense to me. It just doesn't. Like, if time doesn't exist, then movement doesn't exist because it's what time is. It's movement. You don't reuse time as a fictional thing to make sure we, you know, are where we're supposed to be. I'm always on time. I like to be on time. And that's that's just a concept. I accept that. We say the time is this and we will meet at that time. And that's fine. But if time does not exist at all, then there is no movement because that's time. And what should I say? It's... It just doesn't make sense to me, like... Sure, it can all exist at the same time, but as long as I don't experience time all at once, then I only experience it linear and then time exists. 
because it's about how I experience the time. It doesn't really like people can say as much as they want that it doesn't exist if not only everything I experience, but the way they do the things clearly indicate that they follow the thought of time. They live their life according to time because that's, you can't have a conference, for instance, and not base it in time because you have to plan for things. People have to know about it. it. You can't just say there's a conference right now and people appear in it. You have to... Time has to exist in some way. Just because we think of it wrong doesn't mean movement does not exist. And... Well, I've just been... I've been trying to wrap my mind around that because... I really want to understand, I've always wanted to understand, but I don't really feel like anyone is explaining this really well, because it's, well, it's, it's a bit too, I want to say, sci-fi or spiritual, it's, it lacks a grounding in any form of reality not even any form of I feel reality. It's it's just no, time doesn't exist. Yeah, well, why do I experience time? It's, if I don't have to, if we constructed time, then why can't, why do I have to experience it in this boring linear way? I want the world to be like a movie. I want to just skip to the next one, skip to the next one. Interesting scene here, an interesting scene there. I I can't wrap my head around the concept of time not existing. It, it just doesn't make sense because I experience time. It's, it's change. Time is change. Time is not, well, the counter on the bottom of my video that says 13 minutes. That's not, that's not time. Time is change and time is movement and it happens. It happens. Like, you can say everything happens at all times, sure, but I can still watch a stone roll and I'm watching that stone roll and it's it's happening in my time and it could have always been rolling for all I know, but it doesn't change the fact that I am watching it roll right now and it will not be rolling in say five seconds. It's I'm really really trying to understand this and it seems like the people who are talking about time not existing don't really seem to live according to that law because they live as if time exists but then they say time do not exist and that's stupid because if you believe time does not exist then why are you living according to time like uh, Dolores Connor I think and the first video I watched of her and it's like time does not exist everything if you've seen the video you understand what I'm talking about and at the end she actually says we don't have time like literally 
I planned this so we would have time for these questions and we can't do any more than that. Well, that's time. You don't have time to have all the questions in the world. And how can you say there is no time? If there is no time, you have all the time in the world because it doesn't exist. It's, it's an ir irrational concept. You don't have to be limited to one and a half hour. You don't have to be limited to anything if time doesn't exist. You can just sit there for 10 months. It doesn't matter because nothing has passed. And I'm trying to understand, but it doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. It doesn't. It, it really doesn't because things move in some way or form time has to exist like think of a movie a movie is just a shit ton of still pictures one after another moving in well now we have like 60 fps and shit frames per second and we only need 24 but that moves and because it moves so fast, we can see it as a movie. And it's not really time, it's the fact that the pictures are moving that is signaling time. It's a lot of, like, every moment you live is one still moment. But it all, all the moments happen so fast. So there is movement and therefore there is time because all the still pictures are shown right after one another. It's, it always moves. It moves because you are moving forward somewhere. And everything else I heard, with like all the energies and even like switching dimensions and shit and words like ascension like I can I don't know if I understand it but I can accept it but I can't accept that time does not exist in any way or form because the movement does not exist and that's stupid because movement exists up down up down still frames but it's still moving it has to it it's interacting with things it's moving it's it doesn't matter how long it takes it mattered that it moved if time doesn't exist then it can't move there has to be it has to be in somewhere when it's moving could be that I create time, but, well, I needed to talk about it because it doesn't make sense to me. And I don't like not understanding things. It doesn't happen to me that often. Well, peace.